Habits play a crucial role in personal development. With habits, we are able to build ourselves, but we need the right habits. As developers, do we really need habits? Yes, we do need habits. Actually, by building a habit, it will help you become more productive as a developer, stay motivated, and overall write better and clean code. They say that successful people are not born, but they are made through the power of their habits. Let us reshape this saying and say, successful developers are not born, but they are made through the power of their coding habits. So let us see what are these habits every developer can adopt. The first habit every developer should adopt is to think before writing code. Let us say you were given a lead code problem. Do you start right away with writing code or you take some time to plan and process this problem? Look, the problem with some developers is that they don't take their time in processing the problem and planning their approach. Instead, they quickly attack their IDE, start writing code, and solve the problem on the go, without a clear vision of what is exactly needed, how to solve the problem, and what output they should get. You got to know that there's nobody pointing a gun on you and obliging you to finish this late code problem or this project you are building in a certain period of time. The important thing is the output or the quality of your code, and first you need to take your time to build the plan or a systematic approach. Maybe grab a piece of paper and write down how this problem can be solved. Let us say you were asked to reverse a string. Don't start thinking about how you can solve it with code. Start thinking about how you can solve it logically. In this case, we need to read the string from the last letter to the first letter. Now we found the logic, let's build a pseudocode. Basically, we need a new string to store the output, a loop that will iterate starting from the last element to the first element, and at each iteration, we will add an element to our new string variable. Now with the correct planning and thinking of the problem, we are able to write a program that reverses a string. It was a simple example, but my point here is that, because we took our time to understand the logic behind the problem, and because of that logic we were able to get the output and build a pseudocode, all of this will aid us to write a successful program. Remember you are solving problems, not just writing code. So from now on, think of solving the problem first before writing code. It will not just help you write better code, but also it will help you develop this problem-solving skill every developer needs to be able to write better code and solve complex problems. The next habit you can adopt as a developer is to write clean code. Writing clean and quality code matters. It helps you maintain and understand your code. Also, it helps others like your teammates to read your code and easily understand it. Ask yourself, is your code readable or clean? Are you following coding conventions and best practices that ensures that your code is written in a clean and readable way? Maybe you are not writing descriptive and meaningful variable names, or even function names. Maybe you are not organizing reusable code inside functions, or even separating your work between different files to keep everything simple and easy to read and maintainable. Also, maybe you are avoiding to write comments, which comments might feel like a waste of time, but they can help you in explaining a certain piece of code. If you write code in a way that is hard on you to read it back and understand it, then it is best to change the way you write code. Try adopting the habit of writing meaningful names. Avoid code duplication by storing reusable code inside functions. Separate your work into different files. Write clear and concise comments and documentation. And adopt a coding style, like how do you write variable names, or how many space you add in your code. Another important habit you can adopt is to have a daily routine. A daily routine could be like dedicating a certain period of the day for coding and only coding. First, find a time where you think you are most productive at and try to dedicate this time for coding. This certain period of time will only be for coding, so you'll set all your focus on coding. For example, let us say you are most productive in the morning. Set a simple plan you want to follow, like for one hour, I'll be learning how to code in Python. And what you'll do is you'll focus for one hour straight learning Python. And after that, maybe take a short break of like 10 minutes, and after, you can continue for 30 minutes on applying what you learned by solving exercises and problems. Or maybe you are building a project. You can give it an hour of full focus, no distraction, next you'll have a break, and then you'll continue for another hour. Two hours of coding and you will feel that you've accomplished a lot and you have been really productive. By following a daily routine, you make sure that you are able to get things done and be more productive. All of this will ensure that you will stay motivated when learning for example a new language or when building your project, and you will avoid all distractions like phone notifications, social media, and everything that ruins your focus on coding. 
The last habit I want to discuss is to always try to learn something new. Programming is a field of continuous learning. You can't just avoid learning a new technology or a new framework and say to yourself that you will stick with what you know. This isn't how this field works. This field is growing rapidly with newer technologies being integrated so older technologies are being replaced by those new technologies and not updating your skill set is simply allowing you to miss an opportunity to maybe change careers, increase your salary or start a project. If you don't put in mind that programming is a field that is filled with new concepts to learn, then sticking on what you know will get you nowhere. Try to adopt the habit of learning a new skill and keep your skill set up to date. I am not saying to go learn everything about coding. For example, if you are a mobile developer, don't stick to the knowledge you already have. Make sure to learn newer frameworks and technologies that will help you improve your skills and also maybe learn a new field. Like this, you'll be knowledgeable in multiple fields. Now, I would love to hear some habits you have. Is there any other habit you would like to add? Then make sure to comment below. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was valuable to you. I also want to tell you that a developer should also know how to work with a version control system like Git. So if you are interested, make sure to click on this video or click on that video that will tell you why most people fail to learn how to code and how can you avoid that failure.